Hi guys, so it's been a while since I made a video and I thought I would um, come on. I have some free time and um, share some stuff with you. Um, unfortunately, I do not own a tripod. I don't have all the setup to do tutorials maybe one day or if people are interested enough in what I get up to in my free time. Um, so I am filming this literally kind of like one handed do holding the phone in the other hand to show you stuff with my cell phone. So I like Finabare products and I just wanted to share some of the stuff that I um, had purchased from some of her various collections over here. Um, I guess this is kind of like her newer packaging. It's from her Art Alchemy line. Um, I purchased this color here. I'm going to move you. Look at that beautiful purple. That one is called Electric Violet. That's from, I guess you want to call it, I guess you would call it the 2019 release. This is what it looks like. And I'm filming outside. You can hear my neighbor's sprinkler and you probably will hear the wind i apologize for that but i kind of um ooh, and the wind's blowing i wanted you to just see the colors and i don't think you could see them as well if um i was filming in my bedroom so that is the electric violet and that is on her actual resin pieces this i don't think it was exclusive to michael's but i got it from michael's last year i think 60 percent off and um I mean it's just so pretty now I did use my fingers when I first started um, doing it but I didn't like it as much with the resin I couldn't get into the little grooves and stuff so I um, got a more sturdier or harder bristle brush and I got much better coverage um, it just depends on what you're using it for I think um, because even her, in her videos, her demo videos, she uses her fingers, she uses brushes, sponges, etc. So that was one color. That was the violet. And it comes in this cute little tin. It has a neat smell. I don't, it reminds me of those old fashioned pomades that your grandma and grandpa used to put in their hair. And then this one is the rose gold. And as you can see over here, this is with me using my fingers. And some of them um, will come, I guess, some are called Metaliques. Now, this is from the first set of her waxes. And this one I got from Michael's last year. That's Rose Gold. That one's called a Metalique. Whereas this new one says Wax Sear Sear. I think it's two, different, two or three different languages. And that came in the wider packaging. Um, the rose gold from Michaels came in the smaller packaging and if you make cards or shakers you can recycle those little circle pieces and get a really nice shaker out of that so as you can see like I was saying um, using your fingers you're gonna if you're using things that have a lot of detail or grooves you may not be able to get where you want to um, if you get a firmer bristle bristle bruh, be clearly here a uh, brush you can get into those finer spaces which hopefully you can see that and get the idea so um you can see the purple I'm trying to hold it in the sunlight so you can see the brilliance of it this one is um like i said the rose gold and this is a Michaels frame from when they had the dollar bins like 10 years ago. And everybody was on the roll buying them and doing those altered cigar boxes. I still have a box that's probably got 20 in it. It's really cute. So that one was a rose gold. I'll set that aside. Um, this one I think is from, from the first release as well in the smaller packaging. This one's Lucky Emerald. I used a, um, this was a pre-painted wood piece, and 
I used just my fingers to put it in, put it on, so you could see. I was wondering, you know, do if you gesso or use paint over the surface, if it makes a difference. I think it does, and I think it just depends on, you know, what you're using. I'm not an expert. This is just me playing around and sharing some stuff with you. This is on an untreated wood piece, same color. Oops, sorry. And I think you do probably have to mix them up sometimes. And this is probably nothing to do with the manufacturing or anything. It's real. It's still good product. It still smells good. It doesn't have a sour smell or anything. I've literally had this in my hoard vault since I got it on clearance last year. And I don't even know what month it was. So it's been sitting for a while. So you just mix it up with your fingers or brush. And I think you're fine. I. This is just me. Don't worry about that. Um, this is on the untreated wood. I see a little bit of difference and these are fairly wet. I haven't let these dry. I just did this a few minutes ago. Whereas these two, I did this last night when I couldn't sleep. But it's just to give you the general idea. I think they're really fun projects. Um, great for home decor. You don't even have to be into mixed media as you know some people say. This one here... Where's the lid for it? This is one of the ones from the first release as well. This one's called Opal Magic, and I think these are more designed, the opals. It looks like they are more designed to work um, on maybe darker stuff. This is a little black MDF 2 by 3 picture frame, and I just used the Tim Holtz spongy thing and dabbed it in there. I'm moving around a lot, sorry. But, see when I do that on a darker surface? That's turquoise. It is called turquoise satin. And it looks like just an iridescent kind of white. But that's what happens on a darker surface. That was another thing. Um, this is the purple with just my fingers. I keep calling it purple, but it's, I mean, it's the violet, but that's it just on regular cardstock. Hope you can see that. Um, let's see, what else do I wanna show you? Oh, I had a piece that I had um, die cut. Let's see if I can get some of that turquoise on it and you can see it and again I'm probably not getting into all the grooves and stuff just because holding the camera with one hand and arching it up with the other hand but I wanted to see what it looked like on kind of like a craft surface and it's not blended in oh yeah Let's see if I take my finger and blend it in how it's coming to life And I know there's probably people out there going, oh my God, this is such an amateur video. She is not good at doing demos. Okay, next. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty. That's really pretty, it comes to life. Um, This is a Tim Holtz die cut too, from a couple of years back. And now let's try, let's try it on some metal if everything doesn't blow away. Sorry about that, I think I just got my finger in your way, but I, I do apologize. Amateur video, but we're having fun and learning something, aren't we? Um, what color do we want to use? Do we want to try? Let's, let's see what this green looks like and I'm just gonna use my finger another finger this finger is purple I'm gonna use this finger here oh lordy I got a lot on there we don't want to do that oh that's a lot we do not need that just a little dab all right just a little dab on there and then we let them in oh my goodness boys and girls guys and gents ladies do to do that peeps oh my oh I like that is pretty neat looking 
And again, you know, when you're not filming one handed and working with the other hand, you're going to get much better results, but I do think that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, I'm wasting product. I hate wasting product, but what can you do when you're doing it like this? Let's just let's just do a little bit of recycling here. Um, I'm not a fan of using it with just a makeup sponge. I have seen those new makeup sponges everyone's using that have that come on a stick and that might be better. Um, just a little bit of purple on there mixed with the brass, the brass piece. Pretty neat. All right, well, I don't want to bore you guys and I hope you really enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions or you're curious or anything, um, just inbox me or comment below and I will get back with you. And sorry about my fingers keep getting in the way. Look at that though. Look at that on my fingers. Um, I don't know about wearing gloves. I thought about wearing gloves, but sometimes when I wear gloves, like I have to wear gloves at work sometimes to um, handle chemicals and stuff. I can't get a, the best feel for if I'm getting everything or getting, you know, in where I need to get or whatever. So I'm sure you can use um, just a little cheapy throwaway gloves if getting stuff on your actual fingers freaks you out. I just have not done it. Um, and I'm at home and it doesn't matter if I'll just wash my hands three or four times anyway. So anyway, you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Please comment. Let me know what you think and what colors you like. And have a really great Friday. Bye-bye.